One of the 10 most wanted men in America, and it was 12 years ago today, that police say Robert Fisher of Scottsdale committed a savage crime against his family. April 10th, 2001, a home in Scottsdale blows up. Inside, police find Fisher's wife shot to death and his children with their throats slit. But Fisher had disappeared. Tonight, investigators talking about their ongoing manhunt for the elusive fugitive. Andrew Hasbin has a story. It just takes one tip from the public to actually capture him. So to say, are we any closer? We continue to receive a lot of tips, and I'd say we're up over a thousand uh, tips at this point since he's been on the top ten list. Mark Hoffman is part of the FBI team that's been tracking Robert Fisher since the 2001 crime. So we still continue on a daily basis to get leads, uh, not only nationally but internationally. Back in 2001, Fisher and his wife were having marital problems. After police say he killed his wife and kids, he disappeared. Investigators found his car and his dog about 100 miles north of Scottsdale in the Tonto National Forest. Fisher has never been seen since. He has ties to Arizona, New Mexico, and Florida. So those are some of the states that we would always be looking at, maybe in a larger sense than others, but we look at anything nationally and internationally. The FBI has released age progression photos that show what Fisher could look like today at age 51. The thing that you really have a more difficult time changing is your personality and the characteristics. As I mentioned, an avid fisherman, a hunter, uh, being an outdoors type person, and his personality of being a loner and very controlling type. Hoffman says he wouldn't be surprised if Fisher's back in a relationship, but still up to his old controlling ways. I'm Andrew Hasbin, Fox 10 News. Fisher should have a surgical scar on his back. He had back surgery and a gold tooth. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $100,000 for information leading directly to Fisher's arrest.